Hey guys, welcome back to our Head Game Stuby series. Today, we're gonna to be telling you what goes into our most popular budget-friendly package, the pocket port. Take a look. This customer is looking to make approximately 550 wheel horsepower, so he fits into getting our pocket port package. The pocket port is where we resize and reshape the bolt area under the valve to a certain percentage to the size of the valve. This service is proven to add 40 CFM on the intake and 30 CFM on the exhaust with stock size valves. The head has already been disassembled, inspected, cleaned, and the OEM steel guides have been removed, so it's ready to be pocket ported. Dave begins by using the Head Games High Helix 5H spur to rough grind the intake bowl and reshape the short turn radius. Next, he switches over to the Head Games High Helix half inch burr where he begins with the short turn radius and then moves into the bowl. He flips the head over to begin the exhaust side. He grinds the bowl and reshapes the short turn radius with the Head Games High Helix half inch burr. Now that the head has been rough grinded, it's time to make it a smooth finish. Dave switches burrs to the Head Games Super Spiral Cut half inch burr. Notice he turns down the speed to enhance the surface finish. A polished finish will not help or hurt airflow, and because our pocket port is a budget-friendly job, we do not create a polished finish. He measures the throat diameter to match the head game spec, which is a specific percentage to the size of the valve. Chamber work is offered in our pocket port R packages. This is only necessary with the S20 core, which requires an EJ20 to 25 swap. In order to begin reshaping the chamber, the tech will install a modified valve to protect the valve seats. This aids in blending the valve job into the chamber. He will scribe out the chamber size by using the OEM EJ25 head gasket, and then he begins by reshaping the chamber with the Head Games 5 8 spur to remove the excess material. He follows up with the Head Games High Helix half inch burr at a slower speed to create a smoother surface finish. Now that the chamber has been reshaped, the tech will finalize the chamber by polishing it. Not only do we polish the chamber to look pretty, but we also do it to prevent carbon buildup. He starts with a 60 grit cartridge roll to remove all of the grinding marks and finishes with 120 grit for a fine finish. This mod is imperative to have when doing an EJ20 to 25 swap for tunability and reliability. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Stay tuned for our next episode.